Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome back. So today we're playing Arcas Behind the Dark. So from what I can tell, this is an RPG game. I haven't played one for this channel, I believe, since the very first one. I apologize for that. I just, I have to spread these out because I don't, <clears throat> I don't play way too, I didn't play too many RPGs. Like, I'm not even sure if I haven't played Castaway 2, to be honest. That's one reason I haven't done a video on that one yet, either. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's kind of get into the game. We'll start new. There's an arena mod? That's interesting. Aaron. Alright. <laughs> let's just jump straight into this thing. A long, long time ago, Land Sakura was rich and flourishing. There was a village at the west of the land called Arkaz Village. People lived there happily and peacefully. Their cozy life led them to forget the dark age when the devil of abyss, Sabira, came out from the underground and brought horror and darkness to the land. Fortunately, he was sealed by the deepest place of the dungeon by the heroes. Recently, strange things have begun to happen again. Animals surrounding village Arkaz were blistering and beginning to attack the villagers. People left the land to escape the abnormality, but some are still suffering and waiting for the arrival of the calm after the storm. You, the hero, an adventurer heard about this terrid affair and came to the village. Thus, our story starts from here. <clears throat> Alright, that was a pretty interesting, uh... So, so land uh, started getting some you're at Arkaz Village. Everything seems new to you. You're going to learn from the beginning. Oh, great. The beginning? <clears throat> okay. You have come a long way to this village. Let's start with speaking with the village head. So he's telling me I can move around with this. The movement's pretty uh, smooth, gotta say. Oh my gosh, this is a movement. Alright. Let's, uh, let's talk to him. Well, welcome to Village Arkaz, young man. I am Wayne, the head of this village. It is a long time since an explorer has been here. It seems my innovation last night worked. For real, I am glad you've come. When I was a kid, Village Arkaz was the most peaceful village of the land. People here live very happy lives. The village belongs to Landlord Zack, who I am Chamberlain for. He is a man with high aspirations and the village flourished thanks to him. But a year ago, Landlord Zack hid himself in his house to do some kind of research and has not come out since. A large number of monsters have appeared on the land surrounding the village. Since then, and have gone wild attacking and killing villagers, leaving many missing. A lot of people have left now to escape this disaster. As the head of the village, I saw all of this happen, but I cannot do anything to help. I feel terrible about it. Young man, can you please stay here for some days and see if you can help finding some clues? <laughs> Refuse the quest, though. Great, young man. Thank you very much for deciding no. Here's a hundred gold. Please go talk with Gorin, the blacksmith at the southwest of the village. Buy a weapon. You could make come back. So oh, let's go ahead and... Oh, let me turn my phone notifications off. <clears throat> that won't bite me in the butt later. Anyway. Uh, quests. We, oh, whoops. Equip a weapon. Awesome. So. The see me. Awesome. So, south? Wait, did he say south? He said... Oh. Right. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay. Had Wayne asked you to come and buy a weapon? Seems you are accepting his commission. Nice one. Here, I have three types of weapons. Flush of... of, 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 of still... <laughs> Flush on, sword, and axe. You can choose which one... You like. You can also buy equipment such as shield, armor, etc. from me. If we need new weapons, please also come here. 
I will do my best to make good stuff for you. But I am not sure if they are as good as those made by my father and grandfather. Have some confidence in yourself, my good sir. Though, so, uh... The axe does the most, but... Well, I, well, then again, it doesn't... I don't know if they all have different speeds or not. This one costs the most. We don't have a lot of money, but I feel like investing into like a weapon, a really good one, should probably help us. Alright, let's return the win. Oh my gosh, this thing is massive. Can I attack with it? No. Very good. From the way you're holding the weapon, I can see your experience adventure. How could you tell from that? <coughs> Alright. There are loads of monsters outside of the village. You will need to know how to fight them. Can you go outside the village and kill three slimes, then come back this The village gets out on the south. You attack by pressing J and jump with K. Yo, I say I may die if I get low to run off the monster fast you can after killing through slime, so <laughs> Alright. Hi, your hair is very nice. Thank you, child. Alright. Ah, we can slam things. Okay, okay. Ah uh, yes, active combat. Something castaway didn't have. I mean, it's, it's very, it's simple, but there's only like jumping and attacking right now. But maybe there's like items or spells you get later. I'm totally into this. Awesome. We also, we also got a map. It's pretty cool. We know where the village is though. Well, it's not the fast attacking weapon, though, like, it. I'm assuming it's because it's the heaviest damaging weapon. We chose the, uh... Our HP. Oh, we got hit a little bit. Whoa, that was awesome. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit, get back to base. Too bad there's no sprint button, but our character is pretty fast, so... It's almost like this character is sort of sprinting constantly. Well done, it seems you understood how to fight with the monsters. Here's a hundred gold. Where are you all this money from? I mean, you're actually, you're a village head, that's pretty obvious. Next, let's try the difficult stuff. A difficult stuff, okay. <laughs> when fighting with dozens of monsters, you better use potions to recover your health. Here's a hundred gold. Can you go to see Susan, the witch on the left side? Buy five small potions of healing, kill ten slimes, come back to see me. Susan is the epithecary of this village. Uh, yep, I've totally heard of that word. Her house is at my left side. Please go and talk with her before entering the battlefield. Take your potions out from your inventory. And put them in your three shortcut grids on the bottom of the screen. When your screen is low, you can use your potions by pressing hotkey one, two, three. It's that easy. Oh, awesome. Potions? Sure, take them from my selling grids to grids to your inventory grids. Remember to put them in your shortcut grids before fighting the monsters. Press one, two, three to use them. <coughs> okay. I've kind of heard that spill. That's, that's for buying small potions because we can only afford small potions. There we go. Leave the village and kill a bunch of slimes. I got this medium crystal of water. We can sell for like 60. That must be valuable for something. Oh, right. I don't really need the map right now. <coughs> we, uh, kinda know where to go. 
This is a game I, I could definitely see myself losing time in, so I gotta be careful with the time and not make this episode like 40 minutes like I did with the other one. Well, that's, that's how you can tell this is a, a good RPG. Um, I could actually... Oh, we uh, leveled up, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, nope. Slime still move. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, well, we're kind of... We have a hatchet, so... That's probably the ability pool we want to put into our character. Let's put one in each. Health mana, critical hits. Yep, shield block. And more strength. Oh, I didn't... Okay, I need to press accept on that small level. The problem with all like, upgrading diff the different weapon types is that uh, it pretty much means being versatile is not going to be as worth it as just kind of upgrading axe. So we might as well. So we're pretty much forced to stick with that for best results. I mean, unless that's like every game where like specifically one type of weapon is. Oh. RPGs aren't something I play way too often. Even though, honestly, they're pretty fun. I don't know why I don't. As the generalist I should be, <clears throat> I should be playing these all the time. I think there's too many game types to play. Oh yeah, how's the quest looking? We're fighting a new type of enemy already. It's pretty cool. We're just slapping, just slap till they're dead. See the I and L thing? Maybe those will be spells or something. In the future. Like, Cause they're pretty like easy to get to with the buttons that, that with the uh, things we placed at. What? Oh shoot, this is not me good. If we take another hey, we probably should use a potion. Random item. Oh, potion, nice. Money. All right. Still going with this? This isn't like unlike Castaways, I can't really go and pause here because we have to go to like different areas, which might have some interesting stuff. So it's definitely still entertaining. All right, let's just let's go back up here. Axe again. Wait. Oh, I cannot. Okay. I feel like I, I want, I kind of want to have a generalist thing, but at the same time, I just don't know if it's. Let's just go ahead and upgrade one of these. I kind of want those options. Okay, now we gotta choose. Okay, we wanna upgrade strength and we kind of want more HP. Our overall strength has gotten stronger.
Where are all the slimes at? And we need to go back up to them. Yeah, let's go back up real quick. Because we can go like right as well, according to the mini map on the top. Whoa, we got we got nicked. Right. Okay, we haven't reached ten yet. I think we're going to though with this area. Let's take an item. We'll have to equip a new one back at base. They'll probably want to get back and turn mission. I'll probably end the video there because I don't want it going on too long. You kind of get the idea. You'll you'll meet. Uh, so I'm assuming you're gonna meet more creatures. Oh, let's avoid that. Oh, we still haven't reached it? Alright. Let's generate all the health. Wait, don't we have more in inventory? No, we don't. Time portal scroll. Oh, that's awesome. We can get... Okay, that's, that's a useful item. We got like our first armor piece. I think this video did good on hitting like like kind of like the bases that you see. Of course, the cool, more advanced stuff would. And maybe I'll come back to this game for a for a good, for a future episode. Though I kind of want to play it on my own at the same time. Though I won't just in case. I will, in case they want to see a second part of this, but probably not. All right, are we done with the? No. Okay. This is definitely a pretty well-made RPG for the time. Like free RPG, it's pretty fun. You have your jump slash, your regular slash, you gotta do an item. You might even have spells, maybe? <clears throat> I'm thinking because of the uh, I and L or Or something there. At least I hope, that's my high hopes, like, see whole thing. Alright, now our quest surely has to be done. Oh my gosh. I think we killed 10 by now. We got a stone of blessing? Like the alchemy hand or something? Hmm. Go back to the village anyway. Um, soon. Go ahead and drink a potion. Well, small potions definitely are small for sure. It depends on much health they give you. I want to see if we can buy any bigger potions. Because they're. I think I cleared out everything. Dodge that thing! That wolf came out of the field with that attack. 
small universal of Earth. That's pretty cool. Oh, a new type of slime. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Watch out. Watch your jet. Watch your jet. There's no way. We, we got it. We're heading back. We, we've definitely killed 10. Oh. Okay. Let's, let's head back. Okay, so why didn't it tell us we killed 10? We just have, we just, I, I have to, okay. Oh. All right, we got some points to use. All right, let's go ahead and accept that. All these, all these different skills we'll be able to unlock later. I also want to tell you something about attribute points and skill points. We found leveling up the battling those slimes. Every time you get level, you get five attribute points and one skill point. You can click on the character skill. Okay. I kind of already did that. Oh shoot! I uh, he did. That was a different dialogue. Whoops. So it looks like we're doing something with the crystals, real quick. Weapon competition. Okay, let's see what that is. Oh, let's upgrade our axe. More points. We got more EXP. Awesome. We do have a lot of things, so uh, now we get to finally. Do you want to compose? No problem. I can help you. Please put the crystal stone and weapon in the composition panel. When everything's ready, just click the compose button. Two small fire crystals. And our weapon. All right, let's compose something. View the composition. You put the weapon back in your inventory. So I'm assuming our weapon. Oh, it's level one fire now. We made a, a fire thing. Okay, that's pretty cool. Once we get a new effect for attack. Composition completed. Well done, young man. Now you own an unusual weapon. Composition is the best way to improve the ability of your weapons and equipment. And if it's a broad subject that is worthy of serious research. Oh, where to find the crystals and stones? You can get them by randomly when you fight the monsters. Well, by now I assume you have some sense of this land in the following days. Please. Oh, we actually got the chapter too. Sweet. You have to familiar with everything very quickly. It's time to start your journey. Help the villagers and accept their challenges. You need to gain their trust. This is a really cool game. Got to even quest all these different people. I just want to see if, like, if I swing my weapon real quick. If any. Oh, look, there's a little, like, red thing that comes. Oh my gosh, I'm nerding out over here. Anyway, I got critical hit too with that blue, I think. All right. That being said, that sounds I can't place uh, you know forever or anything. Gotta keep the video like not two thousand years or anything. So I'll have to leave the uh, episode at that. I might actually just have like a few games where I would like actively see myself coming back to to complete it. Which I'll say for very many flash games, I want to say they're good because they're fun and everything. But flash games to me don't. Is this is a symbol of like being in a flash? Like it's not a type of thing. Like not a lot of these is a type of game where I would go, oh let's uh let's grind this game out. <clears throat> Though this game is different, I'll say this one is really fun to play.
Though, I'll wait to see if you want to see part see a part 2, and if not, I might play it on my own since there's not multiple save slots or whatever. Yeah, so. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.